Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, joined by just Michael, reviewing another beer that we got from Beer Gym. So, thanks a ton to Beer Gym for the beer. They got a lot of beer from this brewery, Brewski, at the moment. And this is one I had before I got on Beer Gym because I wanted to review it. I had it when I was in Gothenburg for GBG Beer Week, and I just thought it was a great sour. It was really it was at Ulstugan Tulln, which is a bar in Gothenburg that only sells Swedish beer, which is actually a quite nice bar, but. It is the Brewski Halo Milkshake. So I thought it was Halo Milkshake or something, like a word play on Halon, which is Swedish for raspberry. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, it's interesting. In Danish, it's Hinbär. And, Swe and even though Swedish and, and, and Danish and Norwegian is quite close, but Hinbär and in Swedish is Halon. Like ice cream in Danish is is, and in Sweden it's Gless. And in Denmark, glass means glass. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Totally there. different. It's the Swedes are weird. Yeah. <laughs> but this is a, a Brewski beer. So mm -hmm. uh, Brewski has a big thing coming up as well soon, which is Brewskiville. I'm gonna try and see if I can go this year. I haven't been yet, but I've heard it's a great festival. It's in August. Uh, but this one is a 4.7% Berliner Weisse made with uh, umptious amounts of passion fruit and raspberry. It sounds nice. really nice. Yeah, it kind of smells really nice from here. But pours a crazy luminescent red color. Yeah, really it looks really like blue. Gatorade. It is so red. That is crazy. It it's very nice, very nice red look, orange color. It blends in with my shirt. Yeah. It doesn't blend in with mine. <laughs> but anyway. But uh, yeah, not much. It looks like uh, yeah, some kind of energy drink or something. Yeah, I mean, it looks like Gatorade or Powerade. <laughs> But pouring out, it didn't. It did generate some nice pink head, but uh, not so much on this. But no, it's getting it quite, quite yeah, quite quickly. But looks nice. Let's check out the aroma. So oh. much raspberry. So much raspberry. Yeah, it is really crazy. <laughs> it is so oh. dense, like fresh raspberries. They're really fresh, fresh, really fresh raspberries. It does have underlying notes of passion fruit, though. But I think it's not pure raspberry. I can smell yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a total expert out the difference between the tropic fruits, but I can smell it's not just it's yeah, not yeah. just uh, raspberry. It is just crazy. The, the a little, it's like, oh yeah, I smell rhubarb. Rhubarb, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, all called the fur type aroma. Actually, almost. yeah, strawberry rhubarb raspberry type thing. Danish summer treats. All called which is like a red ugh, porridge. It's a berry porridge compote type thing. That you simmer with sugar and it's like turns into kind of like a berry soup that you yeah, mix with milk. Yeah. Yeah. It's really it's good. It's really nice. Oh, yeah. But this, I, I, if <laughs> somebody <laughs> asked me what's in this, I would have said rhubarb. It's yeah, but it even has almost vanilla notes. Yeah. It is kind of milkshake. It has like this mm. lactic, almost yogurty as well. Like raspberry. A little sweet. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice is it made with lactose actually? No, really nice. Since they call it milkshake, it must be. Yeah, yeah, of course it is made with lactose. It's made with barley malt, wheat malt, oats, rye, and lactose. Not sour at all. It's not. Yeah, it's just not super. Good. I'm getting a little bit. Yeah, maybe a tartness, but not sourness. It just smells milkshakey. It smells really <laughs> milkshakey. Good. Let's try it. Cheers and, and not the McDonald's. Like. <laughs> cheers. Well, cheers and thanks to Vision for the beer. I could drink so much of this. Give me a one liter stein, and I would drink this all day. Oh. I, I, I don't understand. I, I think I've seen online people are not that fond of it. I think this is just like perfect session. This is, is yes, this is summer beer. It's really. perfect summer beer, even though it's shitty. Like Denmark has been in a dry spell with a, uh, like last year. There was only rain and it was crap, and that's kind of what Danish summer is. Yeah. Like. But this year the the blazing sun, it's been crazy the last few For weeks. For last yeah, this like would a month. Been, yeah, it's a month pretty much, and it's been amazing. And now we're getting the, the real first summer. day of rain. Uh, yeah, the first day of real Danish summer. But <laughs> the, the the non real Danish summer, this would have been perfect. Really, really this, good summer. Just this with a bone of oil, cold and flu. Try and say that two times fast. Oh, 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 oh. I'm still getting rude. Or a cold school. Yeah. Get a cold school. Yeah. This, oh, this, fuck. This is so this, refreshing. Yeah. It, I would say, forget the passion fruit. This smells and tastes like raspberry and rhubarb. Yeah. For me. And mm -hmm. vanilla. I do think, though, that there is s some element of passion fruit. Of course there is. It's that snappy, sour, tropical flavor. But good amount of sourness as well, without being too much. 
it, I think it has some good sourness. I don't think it's like crazy sour, but no, it gets a nice sweetness to balance from the lactose, yeah. which is interesting. I guess, I don't know if they did something to this, like pasteurize it or put it in sulfites or whatever, just to kill off whatever bacteria, or they just sour, do a kettle sour, or pasteurize, or if it's soured with lactic acid. I don't know, because usually the lactose would be eaten by the lactic bacteria when okay. it's sour. So I don't know how they did it, because it does have some lactic sweetness, and it just worked so well. Mm -hmm. This is the It is like yogurty. It is like fruit punch milkshakey. It's one of the best Berliner Weisses I've had in a long time. It's reminding me of some of the stuff that someone like Jay Wakefield and these kind of breweries brought to the, the NBCC. Yeah, like Haterade or Rainbow Sherbert from Angry Terror or stuff like that. It's I didn't really, go to the... No, no, but for me, this is... I think maybe I'm just hyping it a bit more <laughs> than I've heard from other people, but I just think this is exceptional. It's, for me, this is like a perfect a, a example of a, a kind of sour session beer. Yeah, because exactly. I would have no problem drinking a whole liter without getting the sour belly because the sourness is not too much in there. No, and and compared to the, I've not done so many Berliner Weisse because it's not my favorite um, favorite type of beer, but this is by far the best one I've ever had. But I'm actually gonna go ninety five on this. I don't care if it's low graded or untapped and all that. For me, this is like it's just such a nice session beer and one of the best beers I've had from Brewski in a long time. I I could just drink so much of this. If I should uh, rate it style-wise, I would go with a 9.5 for a whole, I think I will go 9.3. Uh, I'm just so excited. About it is a very good beer, but yeah. I don't think... And it's 4.7%. It's yeah. There's so much flavor. It Maybe is. not world class, that's true. Maybe 94 then. Let's meet on 94. Let's meet on, 94. Yeah, because yeah. it's not completely it is nice. world class, but it's just like such a great session beer. It is. It is it really is. a great session beer. It's a really nice banana rice. It is. Yeah, it is. So... Uh, <laughs> We praise this beer enough, I think. Mean. Definitely go out and get yourself some uh, Brewski Halo Milkshake. I'm pretty sure they still have this on Beardrum because they had a huge shipment of all kinds of different Brewski beers. So check them out. You can get it on there if you want it. And they ship worldwide, which is great. Yeah. So um, if you guys had a chance to have the uh, Halo Milkshake from Brewski, let us know what you thought of it. Is it just us? I don't know. I really, I, I had a big pint of it on tap over in Gothenburg and it just went down like that. And I had another one. It was just so sensual. It was nice. But <laughs> let us know, guys. And maybe we'll see you at Bruce School. I'll get an update on that soon. We'll see. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe. Check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers. And see you guys in another beer. <laughs>